No, but at the end of the day, I just figured, remember, like, like, it's only like, what, technically like, like four or five months of actual winter, like, you know, give or take, sometimes less, sometimes more. So, but yeah, this thing handles really good in the, in the storm, with the Dualtron Storm battery. The Dualtron Storm, as you guys know, I gotta get it fixed. It, like, the back fender snapped, and the controller was hitting the tire, and uh, the tire was hitting the controller. Then it actually, uh, yeah, then the controller just burnt out. So, that's why I don't, um, that's why I don't, that's why I got, now I gotta order a new controller, a new back fender. And I'm broke right now, so I don't really have the money for it. So I got a while. So I'm actually going through a lot, like like financially, I'm, I'm a mess. Well, let me close my mind here. Yeah, like financially, I'm a wreck. So yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. It's it's life. I know it sucks, but it is what it is. You know, I just prepare myself for the worst. You know, and then you just gotta, you gotta live through it, right? You gotta, you gotta keep, keep it kicking. <laughs> just like today, it's no storm, right? It wasn't gonna let it stop me from riding. You know what I mean? So, I don't like riding in the snow, but if I have to, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And the off-road, see, like, I, I, I have street tires, or I had street tires on my dual on storm, but I switched them to off-road because I just like off-road tires better. I don't, even though I'm not always riding off-road, but it comes in handy for when you have to, or on like days like today, right? You know what I mean? Like, this, like I mean, yeah, sure, the off-road tires make more noise, but making more noise is actually a good thing because that way, you know, people can hear you. You know, people hear you coming and stuff. This guy I'm got off-road tires, you're good. I wouldn't do this with street tires, I'll tell you that much. Hell no. But off-road tires are good. So, there you guys have it. Dualtron Cabo. In the snow, in the winter. It's all good. You know what I mean? You just gotta... Like I said, the Dualtron Storm Cabo Wolf King GT Pro. Like I said, it's actually waterproof, so... You're good, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you to go bring it through a power wash like I did, but I'm just saying, if you have to, if you have to, like, just want to take a chance, then go ahead. Just don't blame me if your scooter stops working. Alright, so, I'm going to do more videos on this too. I still have to, um, there's still a few more things I have to do to it. I'm gonna rewire it better because right now the the wire that goes from the Dualtron, um, the positive and negative, like feed into the battery. I have one going into the negative of the rear controller and the other one going into the positive of the front controller. So, well, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna wire it into all four 
just to see if it makes a difference. So I'm going to wire it both into the front and rear controller. See if it's a better connection that way. But either or, this one, this has been working for me fine. I've been riding this way now for like over a month. And it's been good. So can't complain. But um, yeah, just I'm going to, um, when I finish the new updates, I just got to get the parts. Like I got to order more wire and stuff. So once I get it done, I'll make another video to show you how it is. But for now, it, it works good. So like I said, you guys see the... We're riding in snowstorm. So we're good. Anyways, more videos to come. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any feedback on the Tortron Storm, the Cowboy Woken GT, whatever. Yeah, give me some feedback. Let me know. You know, uh, If you have any ideas, or you guys want some advice on... How I did it, or if you want to do it yourself, yep, let me know. All right, peace.